Assalamualaikum to ladies and gentlemen. For this video, we will cover another chapter. It is chapter 6 about leadership. What is leadership? Leadership is influences order to work willingly toward achieve win objective. Leadership is both a process and a property. Leadership as a process is the use of non-coercive influence to shape the goals of a group or organizations to motivate behavior toward the achievement of those goals and to help define group or organizational culture. Leadership as a property is the set of characteristics attributed to those who are perceived to be leaders. Leaders are people who are able to influence the behavior of others without having to rely on tricks or other forms of force. What is leadership is not? Leadership is not just a person or group of people in a high positions. Understanding leadership is not complete without understanding interactions between a leader and his or her followers. Neither is leadership mere leader ability or static capacity of leader. Leadership vs management. Management involves planning the goals of an organization, recruits the necessary staff, organizes them, and closely supervises them to make sure that the initial plan is executed properly. BODC. Leadership goes beyond management of plan and task. It envisions the future and set a new direction for the new organizations. Successful leader mobilizes a possible means and human resources. They inspire all members of the organizations to support the new missions and execute it with enthusiasm. The role of a leader to ensure that the mission and goals of their organization is achieved by exercising their power and influence over subordinates. The, the power is exercised in early stage by motivating followers to get the job done and in later stage by rewarding or punishing those who do or do not perform to the level of expectations. For the role of a leader, once a goal is set, the leader assumes the role of ensuring successful accomplishment of the goal. Second, another vital role of leadership is to represent the group or organizations and lean it to the external world in order to obtain vital resources to carry out its missions. Third, when necessary, leadership has to defend the organization's integrity. Then, we go for additional roles. Challenge the process, search out challenging opportunities, take risks and learn from mistakes. Secondly, inspire order to come together and agree on a future directions or goal. Create a shared visions by thinking about the futures, having a strong positive visions and encouraging order to participate. Last explaining for additional rules. Help order to act. Help order to work together to cooperate and collaborate by developing shared goals and building trust and help to make others stronger by encouraging them to develop their skill and talent. Secondly, set an example. Behave in ways that are consistent with proper values and have order to achieve small gains that keep them motivated, especially when a goal may not be achieved quickly. Lastly, encourage others to recognize each individual's contributions to the success of a project. Successful and effective leader. Successful leader are the power and intellect behind their organizations. They are the visionaries charged with steering their brand around pitfalls. They must know when to size opportunities and how to rally employees to work hard toward their company's goal. Effective leader transcends the title of manager or boss. They have found a way to achieve the right combination of charisma, enthusiasm, and self-assurance probably with a healthy dose of luck and timing. Successful and effective leaders need to have personality traits like determination, emotional stability, diplomacy, self-confidence, personal integrity, originality, and creativity. They also need intellectual abilities like judgmental ability, knowledge, and verbal communication ability. Physical traits like age, height, weight, and physical attractiveness are also characteristic of a successful and effective leader. Type of leader, autocratic. Leaders set their goal without considering the opinions of their followers, then command their followers to execute the assigned task without question. Consultative. Leaders solicit the opinions and ideas of their followers in the goal setting process, but ultimately determine important goals and task assignments on their own. Democratic or participative. Leaders participate equally in the process with their followers and let the group make decisions. 
extremely laid-back leaders. Leaders let the group take whatever action its member feel is necessary. Leadership style. There are eight of leadership style. First, the job center leader. Leader closely supervises subordinate to make sure they perform their tasks following the specific procedures. This type of leader relies on reward, punishment, and legitimate power to influence the behavior of followers. Second, the employee center leader. Leader believes that creating a supportive work environment ultimately is the road to superior organizational performance. The employee center leader shows great concern about the employee's emotional well-being, personal growth and development, and achievement. Third, initiating structure, similar to the job center leadership style, whereas consideration is similar to the employee center leadership style. Fourth, job center and employee center. A leader who could demonstrate both high initiating structure and high consideration would be successful and effective in all circumstances. Five, task oriented, focus on achieving goals. Task oriented leader delegate assignment, set clear processes and issue deadline to ensure all team members remain focused and deliver their part of the project within the designated time. 6. People-Oriented Leadership The leader is participating directly with the employees throughout the process. The leader is involved in every aspect of the work and is there to offer ideas, advice, and support to his or her employees. 7. Directive Leadership Involve leader activities that guide and structure the action group members, showing concern for the status, well-being, and needs of followers, demonstrating a kind, considerate, and understanding attitude regarding followers' problems, and fostering followers' professional development. Lastly, supportive leadership, willing to focus on identifying what change and support is required to ensure the well-being of their team and, in turn, deliver a high standard of performance by alleviating any unnecessary obstacle. Directive Leadership Behavior The directive leadership style is one of four leadership behaviors characterized by setting clear objectives and rules for your subordinates and ensuring that your expectations and directions are clearly defined and understood. Directive management type is characterized by high centralization and dominance of undivided authority. Its supporters give preference to orders and direction because they are not inclined to dialogue with employees. First is guiding and structuring followers' behavior. Second is clarifying expectation, goals, and work method. Third is monitoring and following up on assignments. Fourth is defining roles and communication patterns. Fifth is planning, scheduling, and assigning responsibilities. And sixth is motivating and conveying expertise. There are also six types of supportive leadership. Among them are being considerate and understanding, helping followers develop abilities and career, showing trust and respect, showing concern for follower needs, being friendly, informative, and encouraging, and last, being sympathetic to other problems. Next is charismatic and transformational leadership. As we know, a great leader is remembered for his or her charisma, which means divinely inspired gift in Greek. Charismatic leaders are also sometimes called transformational leaders because they share multiple similarities. The main difference is focus and audience. Charismatic leaders often try to make the status quo better, while transformational leaders focus on transforming organization into the leader's vision. Transformational leadership Transformational leadership is an extension of charismatic leadership theory. According to Bernard Pass 1985 views, leadership as a process of social exchange between a leader and his or her followers. The difference between charismatic and transformational leader styles lie primarily in how the individual is viewed. For example, charismatic leaders speaks about their moral compass or passion rather than existing methods of doing business. In exchange for desired behavior and task accomplishment, a leader provides rewards to followers. This nominal social exchange process is called transactional leadership. Next is visionary leadership. Visionary leadership increases efficiency by moving decision-making responsibility to the front line. Visionary leaders characteristically bring cohesiveness to inspire everyone to be on the same page. To meet the objective, visionary leaders are often charismatic and determined. They identify themselves as confident coaches who are meant to guide the organization through transition or difficult organization areas. There were six elements of visionary leadership. First is visionary leadership push responsibility to the front line. When priority is responsibility at the front line, leadership will seek talent, people he can depend on to complete tasks with limited supervision. Number two is visionary leadership leads to higher efficiency. 
high efficiency workplaces are based on visionary leadership, where workplace policy authorizes division for making responsibility at the front line. Limited supervision is needed with worker responsibility. Number three is visionary leadership delegates decision making responsibility. Decision making responsibility at all levels allow minor problems to be solved by those who are first aware of them. Management can stay focused on problem related to the organization goals. Number four, visionary leadership provides learning opportunity. Learning to make quality decision is the result of worker responsibility, resulting in the development of personal skills and experienced workforce prevent elementary problems. Continual learning opportunity is highly motivating. It can control employee too for inspiration, skill, and level quality. Number five is visionary leadership reward achievers. People who have a burning drive to be an achiever seek opportunity in organizations that have a reputation of supporting personal ambitions. Their presence inspires co-workers to do the same or simply be proud of the surrounding. And the last one is number six, visionary leadership nourishes natural talent. Where workers have decision for making a responsibility, unique skill and natural talent are soon recognized by co-workers and leadership. An employer may discover talent he did not know he had. With discovery, he can search for ways to develop it. Entrepreneurial leadership. According to Roger Ackerman, leadership is it is constant struggle to find people who can be both entrepreneurial and conventional leader. Finding them is the fundamental issue in any company that want to grow. Entrepreneurial leadership in the increasingly turbulent and competitive environment business firm face today. A new type of entrepreneurial leader distinct from other behavioral form of managerial leadership is required. Entrepreneurial leadership is the process of creating an entrepreneurial vision and inspiring a team to enact the vision in high uncertain environment. Entrepreneurial leadership is leadership that based on the attitude that the leader is self-employed. Entrepreneurial leadership involves instilling the confidence to think, behave, and act with entrepreneurship in the interest of the intended purpose of the organization on the beneficial growth of all stakeholders involved. Element of entrepreneurial leadership is first, take initiative and act as if they plan an important role in the organization from the most important and empowering of their people. Second is demonstrate entrepreneurial creativity, constantly looking for new opportunities and pursuing them in order to achieve their targeted goal. Third is take risks to venture in a new field and provide strategies, direction, and inspiration to their people. The last one is take responsibility for their team failure, learn from this failure and use them as a step to achieve strategy successful and achieve common characteristic entrepreneur and leader such as is taking achievement oriented creative visionary able to motivate persistence flexible and patient the conclusion of this chapter is all entrepreneurs are leader but not all leaders are entrepreneurs entrepreneurial leadership requires all characteristic of successful leader but it is also related with the bottom line that's all from us. Thank you.